Welcome to Ignited Research. With this Ignite-inspired video series, we aim to build stronger connections between learning science and instructional practice. In this video, we debunk the myth of learning styles, and educator Jin Su Ha talks about the implications of the evidence against learning styles and what applying this evidence looks like in classrooms. Did you know that learning styles do not exist? and that there is no evidence that shows teaching to a student's learning style leads to better, deeper, no longer lasting learning? Keep watching to learn the implications this fact has for your classroom. The evidence about this is clear. This is no longer speculation or theory. Decades of research has shown that learning styles do not exist. This fact is well known among the research community, and researchers continue to make attempts to publicize this evidence widely. In a blog post, Erica Kleinecht says, From a cognitive science perspective, there's no such thing as learning styles. Data showing that teaching to students unique styles improves learning don't exist. Now that we've heard what researchers have to say about the evidence, let's turn to a practitioner, Jin Su Ha, Executive Director of Personalized Learning at Distinctive Schools in Chicago, Illinois. So Jin Su, do you think there's any harm in continuing to believe that learning styles exist? I almost take it akin to a danger of like the myth of the math person. I feel like that's what I kind of compare it to, where it's like, if you, even by definition of reflecting and being like, oh, I guess I'm better at like visual. I feel like you get a fixed mindset of being like, I'm a visual learner. If a teacher is not, if it's not visual up there, then I can't learn it. And I feel like that can, can be really dangerous. What are the implications of this evidence for practice? I do feel like, though, the best teachers who are doing it are constantly aware of, like, this is something that all students can best benefit from, so I'm going to provide a visual, or at least have the option. I think of a second grade teacher at West Belden. I feel like she does a really good job of being like, here's different supports that are available for you. If you want them, you can choose them. And I feel like that opportunity to be like, I guess it would be nice to listen to this, or like, I guess it would be nice to visually see it. I feel like that's where it's not, like it's an available to them, but it's not like imposing on the student, you are a visual learner, so you need to use this. I feel like that also reinforces like, oh, for this lesson, actually a visual is helpful for me, or listening to it would be, is helpful. And what's your main takeaway from this evidence that learning styles do not exist? I still think that I'm just surprised by how pervasive this is. I think it's something that like people learn when they were kids in school, as students, like, oh, I'm a visual learner or whatever. And so it's something I hear in parent conferences. I hear, like, my friends say often in just randoms, like, oh, well, you know, because I'm an auditory learner, this was not the best learning environment for me. So I think that the lack of awareness of the research around it, because even, like, Gardner has come out and been like, this isn't the way I intended this research to be. I think that's been the most interesting thing is that it's been kind of twisted in a way for people to think, this is a fixed thing for them uh, and not like, you know, there are different learning styles for different times. You know, everyone can use the support. I think that's the biggest thing for me. In a blended classroom, technology could facilitate differentiating and personalizing instruction for individual students, which provides each student with multiple formats or media or different ways to engage with content. Technology can provide students with opportunities for choice. And technology can also provide students with the ability to problem solve or to practice using a growth mindset when they're doing the work of learning. Thanks for watching and look out for additional Ignited Research videos coming soon. You can find more free resources like this one at the Learning Accelerator.